two tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Both teams feeling themselves out in game one. Here we go. They're back at it again. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Constantini. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed at the point. Denies him on the slapper. Duquette's lugging the puck. The Mavericks looking against the half wall. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. And he loses control here. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Tulsa's through center and now in the offensive end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Kansas City's got it in their own zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Kukovich. McKee's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Possession along the wall. Left save by the goalie. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still no score in this one. Kansas City's got it in the defensive zone. Morris makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Tulsa's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Jackson. They go on the attack from the left side. Into the corner of the attacking area. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's gonna feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Kansas City's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. But well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded it, they had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. Won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Mavericks move the puck in the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Sends the pass over. Here's a chance. Denies him with the pad. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this 
puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And he makes the save on that play. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. They've got numbers here, and not much on that one. The Mavericks have it now. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Three center. Receives the pass. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Slides the puck over to Carroll. The one is carried along the wall. Takes it to the net. And he elects to explore his options. Oh, big time save by Morris. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the frame has been played here, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. Gets a hold of the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, that goes off his helmet. Hopefully he's okay. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Gain possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Hayhurst got the puck along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Duquette. Here's a shot! Big save! Both enders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Hayhurst won the draw, and they're on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. On the attack along the boards. Finds some space in the corner. Moves it to Carr. Handles the puck. Trapper save, didn't get all of it, but still enough. Quick pass to Carr. Knocked away. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Tulsa's won the draw. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Kansas City's ready to go on the attack. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Nice zone entry from the left. To the front. Reaches on and punks it away. Quick feed to Krimkovic. Kansas City's got the puck along the wall. The Mavericks played along the boards. Takes control of the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And he takes a shot, and that's blocked away. Hordrell's got it in the defensive end. The Oilers take it along the wall. Puts it on net. How did he stop that one? Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Here in the late going to the frame, Kansas City's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Curry's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Here's a short pass to Paulson. The Oilers take it across the blue line. The Mavericks take possession in the defensive end. The Oilers going to work on offense. And now it's grabbed by Duquette. Too many bodies in the way. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Picked up along the boards by Pilsen. Tulsa's got the puck in the defensive end. And he serves it across to Matsushima. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. The middle stanza is about to go. The official.
Marshall's ready to drop the puck. And they'll get after it here with period number two now officially underway. Quick shot! Makes the save with the chopper! Moves it quickly over to Knockball. Big save in front! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off keeps the goaltender clean. Tulsa's down some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. Puck grab by Constantini. Tulsa's got him along the wall. Stopper. Morris is going to slow things down here and hang on for the faceoff. Well, it's been a slow night for him, but he elects to just hold on to this one. This is a tough situation for a tender when you're not being challenged throughout the game, but he reads the temperature perfectly right here. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. His reflexes on display tonight. Moves it to Kelvis. The Mavericks have it now. Sends a pass over. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Puck picked up by Kelvis. The Mavericks will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Koski. And a big time save on a big time shot. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. The Oilers will serve two minutes in the box. transition and a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires well the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up but you can have all the possession time in the world but if it doesn't generate opportunity it means nothing shot and that was stopped moves the puck along the half wall hammers a shot the Oilers gain possession here they come and they're going to go off for a line change after sending the puck in. The Mavericks will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Moves inside! Grabs the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Through center along the wing. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Tosses it to Constantini. Here they come up along the wing. Dumps it in. The Mavericks gain control of the puck. Hayhurst's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. More than half the period has expired. The Mavericks are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Constantini. Gets the puck in deep. And he takes the dish. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Kansas City's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while well, the rookie, an impressive start to leading a lasting impression. The Mavericks have padded their lead now, extending it to two here in the second. Well, you're over halfway through the game now. You've got a healthy lead, but you've got to find a way to keep the pedal to the metal, if you will, James. You have to put the gas on. You want to attack. You don't want to sit back and give them any life. Tulsa's got it in the wrong zone. Handles the pass on the right wing. Duquette's picking up steam. Along the half wall with the puck. Taken by Duquette. Stopped by the goaltender. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Mavericks win the faceoff. Pucks it away in his own end. Tulsa's looking to break out. Directs it on over to McKee. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Mavericks look to start the transition game. Kansas City's got it in their own zone. Takes a shot. Club save. midway mark of the frame. Kansas City's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And the puck's knocked loose. Grabbed along the board by Carroll. Passes the puck over to Krimkovic. Let's move to the middle! What a chance, but they can't connect! Kansas City's going on the attack as they gain the zone. It hits a body. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Takes a shot. Denies him with a save. The Mavericks move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Walker. Puck scooped up by Kunkovic. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. And he loses control of the puck. Kunkovic is swooping in on the attack. Kansas City's got the puck. Passes it to Curry. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Scoops up the puck now. Moves it quickly over to Farron. Picked up along the wall by McLaughlin. Big play inside the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Poked away in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Jackson. The Mavericks cross the line and gain the zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Skates to the crease. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Gains the zone from the right. Into the corner now. With the blast. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Kansas City's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next.
teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Oilers are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. Blocked in traffic. Costantini stick handling in his own zone. Fox got the puck. Hard hit, frees up the puck. The Mavericks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Tulsa's got the puck along the boards. Across the line, along the left wall. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Kansas City's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck. Right up the gut, here they go. Moves it to Curry. And he had an answer with that save. And now it's grabbed by Krinkovich. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Up along the wing. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Quick pass across to Lodge. And that's intercepted. Fires it with the stop. Moves the puck up to Lodge. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Morris has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. But his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves, and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck now. Let's see what the officials are calling. Lodge has been mad for tripping. mistake this time. Lodge is almost out of the box. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Tulsa's got a hold of it along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is a penalty. Kansas City's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Kansas City's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Mavericks have it now. Slides the puck over. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Taken along the wall by Carr. Still has possession. 
They get it out of the defensive end. Calvis carries the puck in his own zone. The Mavericks' main advantage is over. A great kill and the ability to keep this game within reach. You know now that they've got the momentum moving forward. You never know what's going to come next. Poulsen's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larson, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save! And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. A critical draw here. Long just won the draw here in the defensive zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And there's the save of the play. Kansas City's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Back to the point it goes. And a stiff break slot up. Trying to shake loose. to Jones, and he slides it quickly to Hayhurst. Kansas City's got the puck against the half wall, and it gets the blocker on that one to turn it away. Kansas City's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck, and that's intercepted in the defensive end. City's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Who's the puck? Here's a blast. That's blocked. Here we go. Look at this. They are really a part of the squeeze down on the offensive end. Penalty coming up. And we're going to get a in play. And their first chance to use the man advantage. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Approaching the final minute of regulation. The Oilers really need a goal here. They've called the goalie and the extra attackers out. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared. Now well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Left bars moving the puck through his own zone.